Hi guys, I just wanted to record a quick video to show you about a couple of, um, well one app in particular that's really cool. Um, if you use the command line like I do, you'll know that the one in Windows is pretty grim and you do need to find a replacement, especially if you want to, you know, if you want to, I mean I use it for things like SSH and inter servers and just general sort of administrative duties, you know, like I do front end web development, so I use things like Gulp, so you do need a command line for things like that. I mean, do not get me wrong, I mean, as you can probably tell already, I am not a command line junkie by any means, you know, I mean, I know what I need to know and and I get by, so, you know, don't think that I'm some sort of wizard with it, but I do need to use it and I do want a really nice looking terminal window. And I used to use a Mac and there were a program on there called iTerm and that, that was just a really nice, really, really nice sort of terminal app. But on Windows, I've never really managed to find anything equivalent to that. I mean, I have been using an app called Commander, uh, which gives you all the functionality. It, you know, it lets you use SSH, gives you all the Linux commands, LS, and all the rest of it, which is great. But it still looked a little bit iffy to me. It's just not quite as nice as a sort of Mac app, um, if you like. So a few weeks ago, I started using an app called Hyper, which for some reason had just always escaped me. I'd never, I'd never come across it. Um, but one thing that out Hyper out, out of the box just works with a sort of Windows command prompt, and I wondered a couple of days ago if you could get it working with um, or get Commander to power it, and it turns out that you can. Yes, what what I had been using Hyper with is um, Ubuntu. You know, you can download that via the Windows Store, um, and it just gives you like command line um, access to Ubuntu. Or I think that's the right sort of terminology anyway. I, as you, as you, as as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm no sort of command line expert, but I do use a command line on a daily basis. So, like I said, we're really, really gl f pleased that I found this hyper, and it comes with like some really nice themes and all the rest of it. So, the ability to get Commander to power it is fantastic. You know, you get a beautiful looking terminal, and you get all the power of um, uh, Commander. So if you just go to these two websites and download, grab them both, um, you need Commander, which is available at cmdr.net. I'll put all this in the video description, and Hyper is available at hyper.is. That's uh, H-Y-P-E-R.is. It's available for all operating systems, they both are. Um, so get them installed, and then if you just come into your Commander, and you just, you just need to paste in this command or type it in, it's echo percent con emu dir percent because Conemu is the app that powers Commander, I think, or gives it a lot of its functionality. Um, and if you just hit return after, I'll put, like I say, I'll put it all in the description, but if you hit return after typing in that command, you'll get this path, which is your path to your uh, Conemu, I don't know if it's the Conemu executable or whatever it is, you need that path anyway. Like I say, I'm, I don't want to start quoting things that I don't really know. Um, so anyway, you need that path, so if you go into Hyper and then go into... I think it's in edit, edit preferences and it'll just f open this text file and if you just come down I think it's in yeah it's here look environment you just need to paste in that path that you've just got from um, co uh, from commander um, it does work with or without double slashes I read somewhere I can't remember there's a reason why you have to use double slashes but it does work with or without double slashes someone in the comments will probably be able to tell me why and then in the shell args you just need to put this line of code as well um, and the shell must be empty. And if you do that and restart um, Hyper, then you'll have Hyper powered by uh, Commander, which is really, really, really nice. It's just a, I'm so glad I found this because I finally got something like I had on the Mac, which was iTerm, which just looks really nice and it gives you all the functionality. Just one thing I have noticed though, just as a little sort of caveat, like I say, it does work absolutely fine, but one thing it doesn't, what that doesn't work, or it doesn't work on my system anyway, and I've done a bit of research and I found other people are having this problem, that if you type the clear command, then for some reason it just, well, it don't break, I won't do it now, because it does like, it makes the sort of system hang. Not the whole computer, just the, just the app, sorry, I should say the app, not the system. Um, so one uh, way around that, it, well, it's even actually quicker than clear, is just to do a control shift and K and that just clears your screen. So just just remember that it's quite a useful one because I was, cause it, that was like a, I had it all working. It was just like a proper deal breaker. Like oh my god, I can't believe it. it's just that you know that. Because I, I think you, there's a reset command and that does similar to clear. I don't know. I don't know what the differences are, but that control shift K works a treat anyway. And it's um, so yeah. So that was the only sort of stumbling block which I've managed to get uh, get around now. 
So that's Hyper and uh, Commander. I think if you use the command line on Windows and you're, if you're anything like me and you like nice looking apps as well as you know having the functionality that you need, I think you'll really like um, Hyper. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks. I hope that helps someone somewhere at some point. Okay, cheers. Thank you. Bye.